I was gonna tag this on to the next video, but I decided, you know what, this one deserves a short video for itself. It's just about old capacitors and uh, they're in better shape than you would think. Watch. Before I get into today's video, I just wanna show something here. These are the electrolytics that I pulled out of the Lexman that are 35 years old and everybody would say, oh, those electrolytics are bad. So 100 microfarad, 160 volts should be between, well, a 100 volt should be 0.15, but a 250 volt should be 0.8. So between those extremes, we should find for a new capacitor. Now this is 35 years old. Where are we here? Make sure the meter is zeroed out, which it is. 0 0.08. Remember, between 0.15 and 0 0.8. 0 0.08. That cap is good. 0 0.07. That cap is good. 0 0.08. These are probably better than the new ones that I put in. I didn't measure the new ones. Before tossing these in the garbage, I figured I would measure them. As you can see, they're all perfect. Nothing wrong with those caps. So, for those that call out saying change every capacitor because uh, they're all bad, they're not all bad. And in this case, there was two that were bad, by the way. And there were the red ones. Here's another one. 220 at 10 volts. Okay, 220 at 10 volts should be 0 0.06. Let's just see how this one is. 0.5. So, okay, this one's creeping up a little bit. How about this one? Same size. Okay, that one's starting to go. That one's starting to go a bit high. No, nope, maybe not, 0.5, eh, a little bit, a little bit up. The red ones here, well, 45, yeah, that one's bad. This is a, what is this, but this is also a bipolar cap, right? Elna, audio grade, that one's bad. And one of these, one or two of these is going to be open completely. That one's open, I think this one was open too. These would have been the ones from the right channel for the preamp that was bad so really only the red caps were the ones that were, were bad there should be another one around here somewhere that I pulled but I'm sure it's also going to also measure in the same um, these ones were bad these red ones these other ones here I can hang on to these for another day because there's nothing wrong with these ones at all even capacity wise 100 microfarads it's coming up at 112 right these caps are all testing good 116 you see nothing wrong with any of them I just wanted to prove something before I get into this next unit here is that uh, when you when you hear people say you got to change all the capacitors that's coming from someone who doesn't really know what the heck they're talking about that's like uh, taking your car to Canadian Tire, and I'm picking on Canadian Tire, um, but that's like taking your car to Canadian Tire, and they'll just start replacing parts until they get the right part, because their technicians just aren't qualified. They're not good diagnostic people, diagnostic techs. They just look at what the computer says, they read diagnostic codes, and they change parts. And they're not the only ones, because I'll tell you a story buddy that used to have a Mercedes-Benz he doesn't have it anymore because it blew up but um, he took his Mercedes in because he had no power it was a diesel turbo diesel and he took it down to the Mercedes-Benz dealer and the Mercedes-Benz dealer says oh yeah there's a sensor that's bad we got to change the sensor and uh, it's seven hundred dollars so he put seven hundred dollars into his car and on his way home it still had no power the check engine was on and he went back there and they said oh well there's another sensor that causes that too uh we need to change that one at that one is thirty five hundred dollars at that point he walked away from the car and bought himself another vehicle 
also it's not just a Canadian tire way of doing things it seems like a lot of the, a lot of technicians out there don't have the experience and they just start changing parts and I, I find the same thing with the quote internet experts out there that tell me you got to change all the capacitors in an amplifier because it's 35 years old no hogwash in this case it was a couple that went bad and that was what was causing the problem with this on my Lexman anyway that's my rant on capacitors I just wanted to bring that up before getting into this next video which will be fixing up the NAD because the parts have arrived for the NAD